it's a little too bright everywhere I go. So I've settled in this little corner in our, my living room. Um, but good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. It feels so good to be filming again and uploading for you guys. Um, as you know, I took last week off um, from posting and uploading just to give space um, to amplify the Black Lives Matter movement, which um, I feel was like very important. It was important for them and the black community. And it was also important for me and Sebastian to reflect and have conversations just like many of you maybe. And um, yeah, I think whatever step you took um, in that movement, I think was the right move for you. And it's a difficult thing to, <gasps> did I just spill? Oh no. <laughs> um, it's a difficult thing to discuss and talk about because um, I don't know, I, I like to see good intent in a lot of people, but at the same time, like I recognize the problems that we have and the corruption and just the heartache that is here still in the United States. And so it's difficult. You want everyone to do the best that they can, but at the same time, you want them to continue to do more. And that includes myself. So um, it was just a great week for that. And me and Sebastian had a lot of talks and Sebastian actually did a great podcast um, on his podcast, Seb Talks, um, with a friend of his, Cam. And it's just an amazing episode about his perspective um, being a black man and the experiences he's had and how he feels about this movement. So I will leave that linked below because I think it's an extremely important um, episode and it was also just like really insightful. So for some reason my legs are actually itching so much. But yeah, we are back to posting and I already, I think you guys have already seen my Trader Joe's haul, which was fun. I just figured that would be like a nice, easy way to get back into things. And you guys seem to really love it. Um, my views were up like a lot within the first 24 hours, um, which was fun to see because I love Trader Joe's hauls and I love watching them and it's fun when you guys love them too. So um, yeah, there are some exciting things I wanted just to come sit down and chat um, for the beginning of the vlog just because I've had a huge life update um, and it's just exciting and I thought I would share. So from the title of this vlog, you can already kind of guess that I did quit like my traditional nine to five job and I'm currently self-employed and I joined um, Sebastian, my husband. He quit his job around November of last year and um, has just been like building his network marketing business and their consulting business and I decided to join it and officially as like the brand manager of his company and it's been really really fun it's been really challenging and scary and just like anxiety ridden but I'm like obsessed and love it so much so that's kind of like <laughs> the broad overview um, I believe I do have a couple of clips um, that I'll insert here of me um, talking about wanting to quit my job and then actually like turning my two weeks and all that. So I'll leave that here so you guys can catch up with that. And in like 30 minutes, I am about to quit my job. We'll put in my two weeks, um, which is essentially the same thing. So anyway, I wasn't nervous. Last night I was so nervous and was just like talking to Sebastian and it was just like one of those things where you just feel like oh my gosh am I being the most reckless human in the whole wide world like I don't know you just feel like irresponsible but then I was talking with Sebastian and going over kind of like what we had planned and it just felt like a little bit better and then I woke up this morning it's totally fine <laughs> and then like right now I'm just like my heart is like racing but it was so funny because I woke up this morning and I like turned over and like gone on Instagram and the first story that I clicked on was my friend Haley and she was just saying how like um it's scary to take like these like leaps of faith and these like jumps towards your dreams and it is scary and it's okay to acknowledge that and like that's why so many people or so many things don't turn out the way that we hope because maybe we're scared to try and fail. I don't know, take these like risks because it's so scary and it's so uncomfortable. And I was telling Sebastian last night, like this feeling that I have is like one of those feelings where you either like make a change or you don't and you stay where you are and you just watch your life kind of go by. And I'm willing to like work so, so hard and really take this leap of faith and it's something me and Sebastian really want and are working towards and I don't know it's just like, <laughs> but at the same time it's terrifying so yeah I just thought I would uh give a little 
recap of how I'm feeling before and then hopefully I'll share more about how I'm feeling afterwards and I know it'll be fine um like I've said a million times like I just want to like reiterate how much I've been thankful for this job for the last almost two years I'm very thankful and I don't you know there's not any bad feelings it's just like this is what I need to do and I'm really looking forward to it and ugh, I just want to be done I was going to do it on a Friday but things just kind of came up that it was like important for my boss to know before then so it's just, I'm like classic like I want to quit my job on a weekend so we can all forget about it but there's no use this is what I need to do it's happening it's happening it's happening oh even like watching those back is like Oh, I just remember how like terrified I was and if it's like helpful for you I'm thinking I might later on do like um, some sort of like Q&A maybe of like how I got to this I don't know I don't know if that's helpful or interesting of course I'm still in the early stages like on week two but um, I think it's very helpful to kind of hear people's stories and it's just very encouraging when I see people take risks and it helps me do the same thing because this was a huge risk. I mean, we're in like still in a pandemic and there's a lot going on, but um, it was something that me and Sebastian wanted for a really long time. And so it's just crazy when you like get to a place where you just feel it like, whoa, this is happening. Oh, I also forgot that Me and Sebastian did, maybe this is helpful as well, uh, Me and Sebastian did a podcast episode as well on his podcast and um, I will also link that down below because it was such a fun episode and we talked a lot about this. So um, if you like podcasts, a couple episodes of his will be linked down below and um, that will give you kind of a little bit more information and also perspective from him because this decision did affect him as well and um, but yeah we are in a really good place and we're feeling really hopeful and excited and just grateful to be in the place that we are we know that we are like extremely lucky to be able to take these risks at the same time we do recognize the work that we put in but we do have certain privileges that help us um, take these jumps and so it feels good but today is going to be kind of just a normal day in my life um of course like I don't know like you guys have been watching me work from home for months now so it's pretty much the same um I don't feel any different as far as like being at home all day because I was already doing that which I feel like was a really good bless you um what I I feel like it was a really good transition for me um, just to be able to get in that mindset of working from home every day and of course there's different challenges like working with your husband and all of that but for the most part it's been super similar and really fun and I've noticed the habits that I've like taken from my old job into this new position and I feel very like structured I want to have like a meeting with Sebastian like I just there's certain things about like a traditional nine to five that I really enjoy and so it's been nice to kind of implement that into um, Sebastian's business and just kind of help him anyway all that to say very normal day I showered did my makeup a little bit I did my hair I've been trying really hard to not do it like I washed it this morning so I decided not to put any heat or anything in it because I find that throughout like the weeks like I will wash my hair and then I'll get over it so then I'll just put it in like a low bun or a high bun or a ponytail for some reason and then I feel like I have it in a ponytail consistently and then when I want to have my hair down it has kinks so I have to wash it so I feel like I've been washing it so frequently and even though I use like great shampoo and conditioner I feel like it's getting a little like tired so my goal this week is to just like let it be and don't put it up <laughs> i'm gonna try not to put it up i don't know why i've just been very i think because it's like summertime it's hot i just i don't know so you guys know i love a good like sleek bun in the summertime um but i'm trying really hard not to like do my hair too much so this is how it is today unstyled and a little crazy but um yeah i'm dressed in uh just a t-shirt it's it's warm today um we've had like crazy weather we had like a foot of snow in our mountains yesterday or like the past two days and the day before it was like 90s so it's just crazy utah weather all the time but today it's gonna be pretty good but not like too too hot so i just have a nice little like stripy tee on and i'm really really needing a good like wardrobe like update because i have no 
tank tops, no like shorts. I mean my shorts, the one pair of jean shorts that I have actually like drowns me. So I wanna figure out if there's like, I don't know, I really wanna hit the thrift store. I've been hearing and seeing things that things are open, but I haven't had the time to like go out and like go to a thrift store. So I don't know, and it also makes me just like, I need to like have a day at the thrift store. Like it's a, it's a process for me and it's an experience. And so I don't know, but I do need a wardrobe um, update. Cause yeah, this is like an old shirt and I'm just like really needing something um, fun for summer. So I want to know how you guys are doing. I hope you are doing well. Um, I know that this, like these past few months have been so difficult. And so I think if you are feeling any sort of way, it's completely valid and fine and I hope that like my channel is always somewhere where you can come and not necessarily like escape because it's important to kind of be with your emotions and what's going on um, but I hope it's just a place of fun and positivity and friendship and I hope that everyone feels welcome here and safe and if there's anything you want to talk about you can leave it in the comments you can always dm me on instagram I love connecting with you guys and just being yeah a source of um entertainment and friendship on the internet so hopefully you get that from my videos and i'm happy to be back and hope you're doing well if you guys are new and just clicking on my video hi my name is carly i would love to have you here for the next video so definitely subscribe if you are new hit that like button when you subscribe go over to my youtube page because sebastian did like a nice little update of my channel art and it's so like you i feel like yes well he did it yesterday and I just couldn't stop looking at it. It was so cute. So go check it out because he worked um, hard on it and it's really cute and he's just really good at all of that stuff. Um, so yes, let's get the day started. I've been chatting for such a long time, but I feel like it was needed. I needed to just like say hi, get all my thoughts out and my updates. Um, like I said, there will be more on like being self-employed. Um, and the struggles and excitement of all of that. So there will be lots more videos of that, but I just wanted to like say it, like, ah, let's do this, let's be self-employed. One thing that I've been really loving to do that hasn't changed like too much, I've always been like a, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Uh, <laughs> um, I've always been like a note taker and like stuff like that, but I found this little printable from um, Brianna K, I I believe is her YouTube name here. I will link her, but she's great. And I've just been loving all of her like mommy vlogs. I just really love them. So she has this little like printable, which I kind of want to figure out like a more sustainable way to do it. Um, because like, of course I had to like print this out and I don't know, it's kind of wasteful. But anyway, I just really like the structure. There's a couple things that I wouldn't like put on mine if I had to make my own, but I really love like having a meal section, a priorities I use a lot. I had this yesterday, which actually I threw it on the ground, but I filled this out yesterday for the first time and it was really, really great. Um, and like any appointments, which right now there's none. So, and then I like this to do list cause I kind of use the priorities as like work stuff and then to do is like any other life stuff. And then I really love this like kind of things to buy. So like I don't fill this out every day, of course, but like if there's something on my mind that I have to order or something like that, I can just leave it on a sticky note and it's nice to like look back at it. And then I really love like the cleaning section. I put a little like task for myself every day. We had a like a disaster with our oven, so I need to figure out how to clean our oven. And then I like this little water tracker. So the notes I don't really use too, too much as well as like this words to live by. It's very cute, but it's not really necessary for me. So I thought I would show that cause this is like really how I structure my day. And I'm just sitting down to fill it out right now, which is why I brought up my camera. But I will leave the principle down below. It is free and she has like a ton of different ones, like cleaning ones and meal planning and budgeting and all that stuff. Um, and this stuff makes me really excited. So I thought I would share and it really has been working well for me. It's been a while since I've given you guys a nice little garden update and I still come out here every morning. Look at how like full it is. Well, we'll talk about the disaster of the mint, but whatever. Um, this is our cilantro plant. We've been taking a lot from it, which is why it's like looking bare, but it has like 
flowers on it which is insane and i don't really know why so we just kind of take what's down here but i don't know why it has flowers and sorry it's a little bit windy so hopefully you can hear me so but um our mint is still doing well it's nice and strong i love it these are flowers so sebastian's grandma actually came over because this used to be her garden bed and told me like because stuff just started popping up and I didn't know what it was and I thought I did a good job of cleaning it out, but I didn't. She came over and told me what everything was. So these are some flowers. I don't know which kind, so we'll see. But my raspberry bush is still great. We still have a little bit of like drying up here, but I don't know. Um, but still growing great. My peppers are doing okay. I actually think we're going to get a pepper because look at that little baby seed. I think that's a little baby pepper. So keeping an eye on it I have to like go and like weed some stuff out um, today I really need to come in here and do like um, we have like plant food so I need to do that my cabbage is massive <laughs> actually massive and keeps growing every day the leaves are kind of getting these little holes which I don't know I guess it needs way 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 more water it's just been so so hot so it's huge our parsley is massive too and we eat it all the time we love it and same with this one massive sorry my shadow is like in the way but our strawberries are getting bigger which is nice um that one's growing and yeah still like no flowers on it or anything so i don't know and then the stupid mint came back you guys so i need to go through and take it out again i i don't know i just thought i did it already but i guess not and then this is zucchini how fun is that so i need to get better about watering this one too um so zucchini coming up and then just like flowery stuff over there but i came out here to grab my little watering thing i wish now that we had a hose out here because it's just takes me forever to fill this thing up and i have to fill it up like three to four times so um yeah i came out to get this and water the garden like i said i do that every morning we woke up a little bit late today so i'm a little bit late to the watering but I came down here and because i'm gonna make breakfast as well for me and fashion and yeah my garden's been good like i said i have to work on it today because i've just been putting that off and i need to give them the plant food and the fertilizing and all of that and yeah we'll see i really want things to like start blooming of course we use like all of our herbs and stuff and it's really nice but i'm excited for more it's a couple hours later now and we and Sebastian just got done with our like monthly budgets and that is always such a terrifying <laughs> experience we yeah definitely have some room to grow specifically in the eating out area um it's funny during this whole like covid you think that you're like saving money because you're not going out and doing things but it's like we're filling that experience and those like entertainment stuff with like eating out <laughs> so we're on a stricter budget now and I just created like a nice little weekly meal plan sort of thing um, that I'm gonna do for us. So I came down here, um, I just recently went to the grocery store so I don't have to go to the grocery store. We have a lot like in our freezer and just so many like, uh, just looking back on all of the like food prep we bought for when COVID started happening, like you just, kick yourself because we were just so panicked which obviously like all that stuff of course is like stuff that we knew we were eventually going to eat but it's like we really need to like eat all of that stuff um but i want to make it like exciting to eat it so i don't know whether that's like fruit salads with all of the like mandarin oranges <laughs> we just really really need to utilize that and like not grocery shop as much as we do and not eat out as much as we do because that is just like makes me so mad so i'm going to do our weekly list and um yeah just kind of decide what we're gonna have for breakfast and dinners and stuff i don't really like it's nice to kind of we kind of eat the same thing for breakfast so i'm gonna write that down but like lunches it's either leftovers or something like super random so i'm not gonna be like super hard at only on like dinner stuff that's where i'm gonna get like super specific we need to follow that uh, but lunches it's like kind of whatever so um yeah i've done this in the past before and i just kind of got out of the habit so 
If you looked at your budget and you weren't super proud of yourself like us, then follow along with me, get out your meal plan, and let's do this together. I'm gonna put on a fun YouTube video and look through my kitchen and just make this like a fun experience. I finished up majority of my work for the day, which feels really nice, and I'm actually just changed. Um, I changed a little bit. I know I said I wasn't gonna put my hair up, but it's only gonna be for like 30 minutes while I film a quick video. Um, I have to film, uh, today's pretty much like my YouTube day, which is really fun, but I have to film my summer empties video, so that will be up after this. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that, because I love empties videos. But yeah i just quickly got ready for that put my hair back and then um but i came into my office to grab something and i thought i would show you guys my new office it's not new but you guys might remember um that i it's a little messy because i've been working but i had my desk originally facing out the window so i would like look out the window but i saw so many pinterest um boards of like desks in the middle of your office and so i did that and i've Loved it. So I need to get stuff on the wall. That's like YouTube stuff. That's YouTube stuff. So just ignore that. But um, I have a, like a calendar on the wall right here. But I do want to get like more stuff on the wall. Um, I just want to make it look cute. I eventually want like a rug. Like I just love it in the middle of my um, office. It just looks so much better. So anyway, I thought I would just show you guys that. And then everything else is pretty much the same. I did a huge declutter of this closet. If you guys watched our anniversary vlog, there's like a section of this closet that you can see in that video and it's so horrible, but now it looks much, much better. And I still want to get, have like, um, a vision of having like a tiny mirror in here. Cause like I have my perfume and my earrings and I just think it'll be pretty to like have a mirror there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that's new. But yeah, right after I film, I get to throw this stuff away and it's so like liberating. I love doing it, so. And then it's really exciting. After I film, um, we're gonna go play pickleball and I've become quite obsessed with pickleball. So we'll get the last little bit of work done. I didn't have anything for lunch and it's like 2.30, 2.45. So I'm getting starving, but I've been eating these everything but the bagel nut duos I just put myself in the eye. <laughs> if you watch my Trader Joe's haul, I talked about these and they are so good. Me and Sebastian love them. So I've been snacking on those, um, but I'm hoping to wrap up this video soon so I can eat something. So let's do it. This is zoomed in completely. <laughs> Okay, um, finished my video. It went well. I talked for so long. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can like trim that down so it's not the longest video in the world. But I put some of them away already, but here's the aftermath. And I can't wait to throw them away. <gasps> That's crazy. You know what's crazy though? What? I didn't even feel tired. It was just my legs giving out on me. Really? Like it, it was works? like, yeah. Oh, you're recording? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know, but yeah, it was crazy. It was like, it, I felt so um, fresh. Really? Like my breath wasn't like. <gasps> oh, and because like it was raining that day, so it wasn't too hot. It wasn't too hot. There was no bugs. It was perfect. Dang, that's nice. I actually took my Twitter off. You did? I wasn't going to tell you. You're gonna get sick. <laughs> we have come into the car to go play pickleball. I still have my lipstick on because I literally didn't have any time to take it off and it's comfortable. So we're just gonna go play some pickleball. That's been like our favorite activity and hopefully the courts are empty. I think so right now. Everybody loves pickleball this year. Everybody. So I'm having a little nut butter snack. This is my favorite peanut butter become like our favorite little snack so it's the rx nut butter and it's the vanilla almond butter so yummy they're kind of pricey but they're really good go play some pickleball how many times do you think you're gonna beat me today mean yep i'm not being mean no beating me oh. <laughs> uh five out of five Ooh. I gotta tell him how mad I got. We oh played, I'm not a big competitive person. Like I just like to play for the sake of playing. And for some reason pickleball has like started something in me. Last time we went, I think it was like Sunday. 
I got so mad. Like I could feel my body, just like my blood boiling that I wasn't beating him. So I'm coming back with a vengeance. I hope you're mad from putting it up today. I know, that was really fun. Yeah, I was just like throwing the balls at Smash and it was so, so funny. Hey, Jared. Hey, warm up. This just in. Did I just win my first game? Did I just win my first game? Carly. Did I? Lose. You did. You did <laughs> I just won my first game. Well, tell them what the bet was for the previous game. So, the previous game was if I scored, I'd get Starbucks two weekends in a row. And if Sebastian won, then for two weekends, like two Saturdays, he gets to eat out whatever he wants and I have to eat at home. <laughs> so, he has to watch me eat. Sucks. So, I lost that one, needless to say. I don't get anything or Starbucks. It's a couple hours later. We made some yummy dinner. I showered and we watched a couple episodes of Queer Eye, which is one of our faves. I feel like this is um, zoomed in, maybe not. And yeah, it was. Tell them the episode within, like. Yeah, so we watched two episodes. Queer Eye is like our dinner show right now. And we watched two episodes. One was Tyreek, and he's so cute. Um, loved that one. And then the second one was, what was her name? Was it? <laughs> was it? I think so, yeah. I don't know. It was the young activist. And while the episode was like, I understood why they wanted to highlight her. I just didn't like agree that it was like an episode that needed to be on the show. We were talking about it, it's like she's 18. It's like that's the time in your life when you figure out like furniture and just, I don't know. We just felt like it was kind of boring. This is like all of them are like older people yeah. that are in their 30s, late like 40s. They've been through some real hard stuff in their life. Yeah. And then. And then here she comes. <laughs> here she comes. And she, I'm not saying she hasn't been through hard stuff, but it was. Just oh, like... for sure, yeah. And it wasn't like as funny, oh. and um, yeah. So, but we watched a couple episodes of that, and now we're at the park because we are going to read our books at the park and just spend the last remaining hours of our day back outside. I got a little bit sunburned, so I have my sweater on. It's crazy. And I know. Do I look sunburned? Uh uh. Yeah. I do so. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to get out. People Dang. are still out. Look the at park, this. Look at the this. parks are packed. Hey, uh, volleyball. It's like a tournament or something. I know. <laughs> Sebastian got up some mango. One full lime. Uh, squeeze lime. Uh huh. Salt and pepper. Let me try it with the salt and pepper. I've never tried it with salt and pepper. Okay, try it. You could use more pepper. It's perfect. I feel like you could use more salt. Is it good? Mm hmm. We're here at the mm. park and we have our books. I'm currently reading The Other Americans. It's a really great, like, murder mystery that also involves, like, racism and all of that. And it's very interesting. And it's funny, I bought this a long time ago and it's. Interesting how I'm reading it during all of this, but I've really been loving it. Sebastian's reading Purple Cow. Marketing 101. <laughs> Always. It's advanced marketing. Advanced marketing. <laughs> and we're just gonna sit here for the next little bit and read our books. <laughs> Try like this with the lime juice. Ready? Yep. Go. I just love it. This is my childhood. I'm gonna take off my shoes. I'm getting crazy. Hey. We are home from the park and ready to go to bed. So I thought I would just close off the vlog here. Again, it feels so good to be back posting with you guys. Um, let me know how you're feeling in the comments. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.